Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Warrior. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're down here in a cave. A cave that until very recently was infested with demons, and which still lies strewn with random barrels of glowing TNT. Seriously, I only realized at the beginning of this session, well before I started recording, that uh, they have TNT written on them. Before that, I saw the glow and I just assumed it was like, oh, it's concentrated demon magic or something. Anyway, well, we're down here because if you just look over there, you can just make out the third of the three seals we were sent down here to destroy. Or we were sent to destroy. Take that out, and Wang can finally get into the temple. Which is apparently where he's been going all this time, and not the cemetery. But, uh... First you have to find a way around this forest of stalagmites. Stalagmite has a G for ground, stalactite has a C for ceiling. That was the way I was taught to remember them. Before we do that, uh, last session I demonstrated that you can replace the model for Wang's sword, oops, uh, wrong one, with several other silly options. Uh, now we know that when you use the idle animation button, <laughs> Uh, for oh, for the sword, he wipes off the blade, and you get one or two HP back if there's actually blood on the sword. Uh, and I discovered much to my own amusement. If you do this while well, he's got the penetrator from Saints Row 4 out, he sort of jerks the dildo bat off. And uh, sp sparkler fireworks come out the end. But I didn't think to try it with uh, the ice axe. It is apparently somehow related to the Walking Dead. Which still baffles me, because I've never partaken in any Walking Dead uh, medium of any kind. Huh. You know, I don't even like watching AMC. They make everything like half an hour longer with all the long commercial breaks. Pleasantville. Weird. Oh, I know. This is what you do with a baseball bat. But yeah, looks like it has the same animation. Honestly, I'll look at that. I mean, with this one, it even he his hand even clips into the wood. I wonder if you do that and you see the blood, like, shaking off of it? Because I'm gonna be honest, it kinda looks like they just couldn't think of anything funnier. That's disappointing. Oh, and, uh... Shout out to Evil Scrooge, who uh, didn't know that the penetrator was an option here. Specifically, he said he didn't know that, uh... You got, uh, weapons based on what other games you own. Where the fuck am I going? I thought I was going in here, but this is totally blocked off. Hmm. Get those splinters off. See this thing right here? I'm pretty sure this is what the bodies uh, convert into after a while. You know, save memory and all that. You see, they're all over the place. Just random demon parts in a pile. Honestly, I don't know why they just don't disappear them. I mean, most of them are gone, but... Bank my ham and call me Sally. This must be the way. I 
I was also perplexed when he said that one of the other options he's seen people use is, uh... A sledgehammer based on Sirius Sam 3. BFE. Walk into my wall of bullets, assholes. That's way fantastic. That's an ominously large amount of TNT. Like shove this aside. I really don't want to blow myself up if I miss. Physics. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh. I thought I could. Okay. I last time I thought to myself. I just saw a shaman, so I can probably put it off, and then I immediately ran into another shaman. So screw it. Let's get God Slayer 1. Even the mightiest demons fall when confronted with a skillful hunter. Increases damage to greater demons by 10%. I have to assume by greater demons it means the really big ones like Shaman, like the Shaman and Warlord. I think Shaman is the plural of, plural of Shaman. Fuck if I know. Sorry, buddy, you're ugly forever now. Oh, yeah, so, uh... Yeah, the thing that confuses me about that is, I do own Sirius Sam 3. And it's still not on the menu. Now, I was thinking I would LP it eventually, so I've never played it. So, yesterday, I installed and booted up Serious Sam 3. I watched the opening intro and I uh, jumped into survival mode and immediately got myself killed on purpose. I don't even want to like learn all the weapons and stuff. So that there, I've played Serious Sam 3 and it's still not in the options menu. How annoying. I could have made a, uh, a joke about it being the time of the hammer once again. Whoa, frame rate, calm down. We're in a cave. What's so hard to load here? There, I'll go slower, okay? Oh, it's just a meaningless texture. It's just crap floating on the surface. Gross. These would be great corridors for a uh, shotgun to come in handy. That's probably how I get out. So what's the point of this area? I guess it's just there to look like there was a point to this area. Could it be? Now oh, I feel bad. I didn't even break. Ah! Maybe it did. I 
and the health kit is unscathed. It is! This is how we get the, uh, the dark crystal that I was longing for, uh, last session. Little bit embarrassing that, uh, well now it is a cool cheetah scar. Check big scars. I'm just wrecking stuff. Holy shit! Could have been stuff hidden behind every one of these. I distinctly remember one of the. But I think it was just early last session where I found one and it's like, fine, I'll go around. But it could have just smashed my way through. There was probably a secret behind it. Man! Oh, now you guys know. So there's that. I always like how video game glass just ceases to exist after it breaks. Oh yeah, just check those. It, oh. Well, honestly, it's no less horrific for the demons to do that than it is for people to uh, post, like, a stuffed bear in their front hall. I mean, granted, the bear usually has its skin. Huh, I didn't notice that. The lock's on the inside. I only just realized that's meant to be the fucking golem. Well, there is a sound effect. I thought they were called dark crystals. You know, it's supposed to be chi crystals. It sounded like it actually had blood on it. Why aren't you moving? Seriously, nothing's happening. I'm hitting the D-pad, the analog stick. Okay, there we go. Weird. Okay, healing rain, soaring feather, protective fan. See, I almost never use this in combat. I mean, I know I did last time, but... What does this do? Okay, that's actually pretty good, but... I mean, if I had that, I probably would use it in combat. Maybe Shockwave. That could be useful. I mean, I don't have a shotgun right now, so at least knocking people right in front of me on their ass could help. Well, I have to hold to charge it up. Hmm. Five seconds is pretty goddamn good. So I saw... I happened to see a Steam review where I gathered that someone didn't like this power because what it does is, uh, 
it makes the enemy float up into the air and just sit there helplessly. So you can just walk up and carve them up. What's iron skin do? Right. Wait. That would be really good. I think I want to try out the tiger's roar, though. Uh, why is the gun out? Something happened. Is the controller acting up? Is the game acting up? That happened once before, where it wouldn't stop scrolling down and I went to the powers menu. Honestly, when he makes that hand gesture, it kind of looks like he's starting a Zed snap. Don't go there. Hello, fuckers! You are now on the ground. Quick, pull my finger. I mean, I'm not saying I was expecting this game to be above a fart joke, but... What the hell does that have to do with anything? Oh, there's one right there, conveniently. Hello! Damn it. He was just out of view. Yoink! bow mood right now. No, I do not see any... Uh, God damn it. If it's not these little fucking dots, it's my, uh... Wait a minute. Oh, could it be? I don't hear shit. Just crickets. And ominous music. So that green seal was what we were hearing all this time. You know, as much as I appreciate coming out of the, uh, ground like that, in the backyard of the house I've been trying to get into, I really liked that. Uh... Where the hell did you come from? Oh no, he's getting closer! What will I do?! Oh no! <laughs> oh, and, uh, thank you to Elfwar, Venser's Prodigy, and Yornik. Oh, jeez. Oh, Christ! Who all posted with, uh, the explanation of the difference. Between a magazine and a clip. I 
first person shooter, skeletons, this feels wrong not to have a shotgun. I'm trying to do a special move. I don't think I can do it with a shield up. I'm watching these bones. Oh shit, more are coming. Oh, that feels good. That feels bad. Thank you! Thanking him, that didn't get me anything good. It's destroyed his ass. Ahem. Up there. It doesn't matter what I think. If it isn't, we're both screwed. It looked sad. Not as sad as you'll be if we don't get there before it leaves. Well, he's not wrong. Either of them. Honestly, I would expect a demonic golem to have a face like, uh. You ever see one of those samurai war masks? It's like a helmet with a mask on the front, and it's carved to look like a snarling demon face. They're actually pretty rad. It's about as metal as I've ever seen real-world helmets get. You know, when you get close to the guy, you can see there are holes for his eyes, and the demon's mouth is open so to c uncover his mouth, presumably so he can shout orders. But, you know. Okay, uh, quickly, the difference between a magazine and a clip. As I understood it from their, you know, uh, apparently simplified explanations, is that a magazine is the thing ever... is the thing you put... That's a magazine. Ha! <laughs> uh... Little boxy thing filled with bullets, that's a magazine. A clip is a thing, is like a little rail that uh, the bullets are set into. Uh, there's one inside of most magazines, you know, to help the bullets go up, go, you know, go up in order uh, more smoothly. And with some old guns, like uh, the one they based Resident Evil 4's Red 9 off of, uh, they, it's just a clip. Like you put it on the top, above a uh, slot in the gun, and he sort of pushed the bullets d uh, down off of the clip railing into the gun. Maybe I'll reinstall Resident Evil 4 and just demonstrate that. Well, not for this session, though. Especially not for this episode, because we gotta go. Uh, thanks again to Elfwar, Venser's Prodigy, and Yornik. For that explanation, for those explanations, I learned something new today. I especially liked whichever one of you it was who suggested that uh, the reason uh, pop culture uses them interchangeably is because <laughs> it's because people want to sound cool and use the terminology, even though they don't actually know what it means. <laughs> so they heard clips somewhere and decided to use that. Cool. That would have been left over from my fight with the shaman crowd, because I didn't use the bow just now. Anyway, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Shadow Warrior, when we make our way to the temple. And God willing, we confront the demon once and for all. Later.